everybody. Welcome to uh, Hello. Pop Scratch. You're me, BP1 and BP2. And today we're here with the top 10 country songs of all time, um, as written by WatchMojo.com. Um, okay. Who knows? Uh, well, country songs, my friend. Uh, right. Regular viewers to the channel will know it's not really our number one uh, choice no. of genre. Um, but grown to like country since we've been doing the ch channel, you know. Slowly yep. but surely getting more exposed to it. You know, Hank Williams Jr., George yes, Strat, Alan that. Jackson. Those. You know, we've done quite a few on the channel now, haven't we, Dolly? Yeah. So Yeah, so um are you sort of where are we going? Dolly Parton, I'm I'm sure she'd be up there. Islands in the stream, something like that. Take me home country roads, the gambler. I mean they're the ones that we kind of know. I'm sure yeah. they'll be like as we as we as we found out, you know, with the George Strat and people like that. People that we've never heard of that are probably massive, and, and when they do this this rundown, mm. we go, "Who are they?" Or we've never heard those. Who songs. are they? Be, yeah, it'd yeah, be yeah. interesting, wouldn't it? Just just to see yeah, how much yeah. we don't know. <laughs> or if I've heard the song, but I've got no idea on who it actually was. Yeah. Or you know where I might have heard it as well. Indeed. Um, okay. All right. This will be interesting. Okay. Well, it's there's a bit of an intro to this. So I'll sort of All right. Skip that. So I'm hopefully it was just going to go in straight into the first one. <laughs> Willie Nelson. Number 10. Friends in Low Places, Garth Brooks. Garth Brooks. And we've done Garth. Right. We? Well, yeah, we have. We've got good, good feedback about him. Yeah. First recorded as a demo, Friends in Low right. Places launched Garth demo. Brooks into the country stratosphere when it was re recorded for a sophomore effort in the early 1990s. <laughs> <laughs> They're enjoying that, aren't they? With the Billboard Country chart topper, Brooks soon became the face of country music. While the raucous tune is yeah, already a, a rowdy, beer-filled yeah. number, the singer typically adds a more angst-driven third verse during live performances. <laughs> they all know the that. words as well, yeah! <laughs> Oh yeah, Number nine, that's Willie Nelson. Always on yeah. my mind. Got Willie yeah, Nelson. right. You were always on my mind. So who do you know that from? Though it was previously recorded by artists. I don't know like it from Willie. Willie. I know Elvis it from Presley. Um, Willie Elvis and his Presley. battered guitar trigger yes. proved the oldie yeah, was course, still Elvis. a goodie a decade later. I guess I never told. I mean, you see the state of his guitar. It's so battered. And I am so happy that you're mine. The red-headed okay. stranger didn't only different, met three Grammys style, for his cover, yeah, but also earned a top five know. spot on the Billboard Hot 100. You were always on my mind. And Look at that flipped guitar. his top 20 yeah. 1980 <laughs> single, On the Road Again. On the Road Again. Yeah, I know that one. All right. Just can't wait to get on the road. All in all, not bad for a song that took song. original songwriter Wayne Carson a mere 10 minutes to write. You were always on my, my. Is that a young no, song? Eight, Nelson there? The Gambler, oh, the gambler. Kenny Rogers. Yep. Kenny all right, call that one. What a voice. Yeah. <laughs> Reading people's faces, knowing what the cards were. By the way, they held their eyes. Classic. Full of Classic. standard country music motifs like We've trains done Kenny and hard on the living, channel, haven't this we? tune yeah. is also home to one of the most well known country choruses. You got to know when to hold up, know when to fold up, know when to walk away. Poker player's anthem, innit? Yeah, yeah. Undoubtedly, Kenny Rogers' most famous song, The Gambler earned the roaster a Grammy in 1980. There'll be time enough for counting. When the dealing's done. It also led its title to a series of TV movies yeah. starring the singer and is a favorite of both King of the Hills Hank Hill Bill knows King when to Hill. fold them. <laughs> he knows when to hold them. <laughs> and the Royal Canadian Sea Cadets. Figure that Royal one. Canadian Sea Cadets. That's a, good, that's a good fun fact. When the deal's done. Number Ooh. seven Amarillo by morning. George, George Strait. 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 Did this uh, one? Oh, yeah, I know this one. Yeah, we've done this one. Yeah, this is. Although do you know what? It's better listening to it. By after. Terry Stafford in 1973, yeah, I think when you listen to it, Amarillo once, by Morning wasn't really a huge hit. Amarillo it takes a while, I think, a few times to sort of listen to it. A decade later, it was dusted off by George Strait for his second album, Straight from George the Heart. Strait. Oh, we called him Strait. 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 Strait.
Santa Fe. This fresh recording went to number four on the American country charts and set the stage for Straight to become the king of country. King of country. Yep. We, we got that told out a lot, didn't we, in the comments? We did, yeah, yeah. Uh, it yeah. to be the number one. Though. Yeah, interesting, with all the number big six, ones out there. Hank Williams. Hank Williams. Hank Williams. Hank Williams. Yeah. Hank Williams. Dipping into the same well of despair as he did on I'm So Lonesome I Could Cry. I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm playing Red Dead Redemption again. <laughs> this song was put to tape during Hank Williams' last recording session. It became a posthumous hit following his death on New Year's Day of 1953. Wow. Again, would it have been re-recorded re by somebody else I'd have heard? Written about William's first Look how young he looks there. Son, Hank Williams yeah. Jr. Hank Williams Jr. That's his dad. Wow. So that's Hank Williams Jr. No, that's Hank Williams' dad. Hank Williams Jr. is the one that Yeah, you... but it says on here, you're cheating hard Hank Williams Jr. Junior Jr. Junior Jr. Uh, that doesn't seem right to me. No? That's uh, Hank Williams Jr. So he's, he's Hank Williams. Yeah. I think... I think okay. you confused yourself there. It said. Well, I was going to say because his wife and, guy... Hank, and son Hank Williams Jr. Yeah. I think that was the remainder of the subtitle there. Right. Because it. That, that was his dad. Anything like. No. No, that was Hank his dad. Williams Jr. We know. <laughs> no, that was um, his dad. Fair Ooh. play. All right. Uh, oh, first lady oh, up. Actually, first lady. First lady. Please, Stand yeah. by your man. Okay. Uh, hit the subscribe button. Uh, it is free uh, to subscribe, uh, so do come along with us at Britpop's React. Uh, lots of stuff Please on do. the channel. You can influence where we go. Uh, we do dip into our country, don't we, now and again? Uh, yeah. We do need to follow up with a George Strait. Um, so let us know in the comments what, where should we be going uh, and what should mm. we react to? What do you think is a big song out there that we've probably missed uh, yep. along the way? All right. Stand by your man. Ah. Oh, oh I think I know you. this one. Yeah. Yep. Number five, Stand By Tell Your me. Man, Tammy, Tammy Wynette. Wynette. Sometimes okay. it's hard to be a woman. Oh, this is a classic. <laughs> yeah, it's just yeah. 15 minutes by Wynette and co-writer Billy Sherrill. This Brilliant. song became the first lady of country music's signature tune. Stand by your man. Oh, 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 oh. Whoa, she rocked them, how didn't she? That's a boof. It also became one of the most covered songs in all of country music. Yeah, yeah you can imagine that. It's been re-recorded a lot of times. But not yeah. everyone was happy about that. Since it was released amid the feminist movement, the singer often had to defend the song oh, as right, an anthem okay. of understanding rather than a call Ooh. to servitude. That's a hairdo. That is. That looks like you could just take it off. Yeah, hang it up. Hang it up. <laughs> Mama tried Merle Haggard. Mama Merle tried. Haggard. Ooh. One of those names guy. that I've probably heard of, but we haven't done him. Yeah. Country music nope. may have its share of prison songs, but none ring as true as this one. I turned 21 in prison, life without parole. This is number three. I have no okay. idea. I've never heard this. Where's Willie Nelson? Um, Johnny Cash and people like that. Biographical yeah. take on Merle Haggard's troubled upbringing including jail time okay is johnny cash 100 percent country or escape attempt the mm, hag was transferred to, to san quentin and kept living know. the thug life until witnessing johnny cash's infamous performance uh, at the facility in 19 which we did yeah we did yeah and there he is a bit older <laughs> wow wow number three <coughs> crazy Patsy Klein. Pa All right. Again, oh, I'll, yes. would I put that as country? Crazy for feeling so lonely. I don't know. I think so. I think there's a... Yeah. yeah. By future superstar Willie Nelson, this was Klein's follow-up to her crossover hit, I Fall to Pieces. Don't know that one. No crazy. No. Up, the singer maintained her newfound Again, something that Angelina Jordan would sing, and isn't it? saw her hit the number two be. spot on the country charts. Yeah, 
could be more like a brass bass thing, isn't it? Yeah. It's not, I'm not so sure it's country. Lyrics. The song Obviously from a country singer, but it sounds sort of and that big yeah, band yeah. sort of swing, isn't it? Yeah. Willie Nelson again. You like your Willie, don't you? Yeah. Nelson himself. I mean, I like his hair as well. Look at that. I'm crazy. <laughs> I mean, he's riffing around with that, isn't he, a bit there? <laughs> I to see my friend. Oh, I know the face. He stopped That's it. loving her yeah. today. George Jones. George Jones. Jones. We've done him as well, didn't we? We've done George she Jones, yes. Yeah. By 1980, the possum was much more a has-been. The possum, that was it. Remember that? They called him the possum, didn't they? <laughs> we saw these comments, we go, what? What is, what is the possum? With this heartbreaker. He stopped loving her. I wonder what's going to be number one. I wouldn't put this number two. Oh, Getting Surely George Jones no. to record this ballad was no easy task. The other ones were a lot as bigger, the weren't they? the singer openly hated yeah. the song initially. He stopped loving her. Yeah. Plus, Jones' heavy drinking and slurred yeah, speaking voice we heard that, made recording we? the spoken portion of the song <coughs> nearly impossible. Only through careful mm. editing was producer Billy Sherrill able to create a vocal track and rebuild the wow, singer's legacy. Really? Stop loving her <laughs> Before we wow. unveil our top pick, here are okay. a few honorable yeah. mentions. Honorable okay. mention. Charlie Daniels done them. Done him. Right, Charlie Daniels right recently. Up there. Yeah, it should have been. Dixie Chicks did them. We've done the Dixie We've done quite more than we thought, haven't we? We've done loads more than we thought. <laughs> Doretta Lynn. No, I have done know. Doretta Lynn. Cole Miner's daughter. There he is. Okay. Waylon Jennings. It's your mate, isn't it? Yeah, that's Willie. Don't let him pick guitars and ride the They're funny, because we haven't done Willie. No. Channel. Waylon Jennings. Marty Robbins. Marty Robbins. No. 1959. Oh, there we Number go. One. Yes. Ring of Fire. Oh, Johnny Ring of Fire. There it is. Of course, it can't be in Is a burning thing. Written by Merle Kilgore and the man oh, in black suit. Oh, yeah, this hey, is nice Carter. acoustic as Ring well, mate. Right? Documents June's take on the love affair between her on an acoustic. and Johnny Cash. I fell yeah. into a burning ring of fire. fire. I went down, 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 and the flame was playing it. Oh, we can't run this till then. By her sister Anita Carter, the country rock and roller eventually earned him his he's first country number one in four years. And it burns, burns, Best recorded burns, by his sister. The ring oh. of fire. Cash's edition of Mariachi Horns. Yeah, yeah, of course. Very yeah. Mexicano, that. Ground, yeah. Also, yeah. a new flavor to country music that was light years beyond his previous material, like Folsom oh, Prison right. Blues. But I shot a man in Reno just to watch him die. Do you agree with our list? What's your favorite country song? Is that good one on your side? I mean. For more hard-working top tens, published daily. Be I mean... <sighs> yeah. The, uh, the vocals there? broke up on my side here. I don't know if it did on your side. Maybe it had a moment. Um, okay. Yeah, I like that, mate. I thought it was good. I mean, it was nice to see that there was quite a few artists there that we knew. Yes. Um, and we obviously had a little bit of background on that. I was thinking we were going to come into this quite blind, actually. But yeah, it was quite nice no. to see a few people, even the ones like... You know, um, Tammy Wynette and yep. you know Patsy Cline that we know the names of, and we yep. knew the the songs as well, the classic songs, but never actually. That's the first time I think I've actually visually seen them. Yeah, you know what I mean, it was interesting. Um, yeah, so it'd be quite good to go back maybe and react to some of theirs. So make sure you hit the comments um, mm. you know, and let us know you know who we can look at. Certainly, some of those older live versions are pretty cool, aren't they? I mean, we we were kind of going, oh, you know, who could be number one? I mean. Fair play, it was Johnny Cash, uh, which we we thought, but no no um, no place on the list for Dolly Parton. I mean, that's a big no. You know, um, yes. as Kenny Rogers there, no Dolly Parton. So no Dolly Parton. Who, uh, amongst you people out there in, in the um, 
Not even an honourable mention. No, not even in there. So what did she do to upset Watch Mojo? <laughs> uh, is there anybody else that you think should have been on that list or higher or whatever in the comments? Put it down there. Um, and anything from from those that we should follow up on. Um, so, yeah, enjoyed that. Just, yeah. it just goes to show we've done more than we think. You know, we said we don't do that much country, but we we, we cover quite a few there. So We do. We do. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Um, and obviously, you know, as we focus in on the you know, US information and stuff that we do on the channel, uh, it would be quite good to have a bit of a, uh, a country, I don't know, what do you call them? We know what we did. We did Metal Mondays. We did All Something right. Tuesdays. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Mad Wonderful Wednesdays. Um, it could be quite useful to do a country one, but there's no days of the week that start with C, so I've sort of ruined my uh, method there. Uh, but yeah, let us know in the comments, okay. as BP2 says, and, and we'll go from there. We won't score today's. Uh, we always have a bit of a fun on our yes. music ones, and we like to score them. Uh, but I think, you know, that was just thumbs a good fun on one to see. Yeah, yeah good, a thumbs, good up. thumbs up on that. We enjoyed that, and it was good to see, you know, added mm -hmm. to our country information up in here. So. Brilliant. Yeah. Like that. There's not right much on. room up there. No. It's, <laughs> it's all well. It's all empty. <laughs> so There's only a little bit of storage space. <laughs> we, uh, anyway. we didn't go for the upgrade. Right. Fair play. Like Until that. Until tomorrow. Uh, thanks for joining us at Britpop Chats. Goodbye from me. Uh, goodbye from him. Yeah. Mariachi horns. <laughs> <laughs>